Oi, what's up boys and grots and little snots and can't forget the digger knobs. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G the Hyper Sapien and in this video I'm going to have a look at and review some Cromlick miniature bits. Now, they do all sorts of miniature bits from different factions, but as you know I mainly look into Orc stuff. So I've got a lot of orc bits here. Now I spent just over a hundred dollars and got quite a nice amount of stuff. Their stuff is about ten dollars each roughly in Australian dollars for heads, legs, bodies and so on. There's some obviously higher priced stuff but I just grabbed more bits to have a look at, play around with, show you and review. So they do bigger stuff like terrain, bigger vehicles, like death dreads and that sort of stuff. Obviously, October is here now. Wah! So obviously they got a lot of new stuff coming out and I've got my eyes on those big gnaws and the gargantuan gnaw. I believe Norzilla is his name. So I want to get some of them, they look amazing. I would love to get some other stuff, but we'll see. The t-shirt looks awesome. Glusive Tiger Tank is amazing. I probably won't grab one of them though, because they're limited. And they've got plenty of other stuff that I'm looking forward to having a look at. But because of the current global situation, it took a little bit of time to come here because they wasn't shipping to Australia, so I placed my order quite some time ago and basically I, they wasn't able to send it out until the restrictions lifted. So I've been waiting for this for a while, but I've been patient and I know the quality of their stuff, so I've been looking forward to this. So let's have a look at what I've got. So as you can see, I've got this lovely amount of loot here, but we'll pull this apart and go through individually of what I've got. Your Cromlick and Tabletop Scenic's official store, www.bitsofwar.com. So I'll leave this link in the description box to make it easier if you want to have a look. As I say, they've got, you know, marine parts and other factions, but I'm just looking into their orc range, which is a part of their bigger selection. And this is what they chucked in for free, which is nice. A lot of companies throw in a few extras, and this is what I've got. It's nice of them, so it looks like a couple of ammo crates, gun crates. So, as you can tell, it's quite nice sculpt. There's, on these particular parts, there's quite a bit of clean-up. So, the rivets are a little bit hit or miss. Really nice detail. Gotta love the glyphs. And the little touches that they put on it. And they're both obviously different, but similar. One looks wooden, one looks like a metal one. So yeah, that's a really nice little gesture. So next we'll look into these bits. So we've got Savage Orc heads and Savage Orc torsos. So as you can tell, they have different variations of it, but it's more of a muscular, bulky Orc. So this one's got like a bone and some stitching or scars and they've got sort of ceremonial bits of bone and stuff that they've attached to them. Very warlike and tribe-like. So yeah, they've... So yeah, these are really nice. Obviously, you can sort of see where the moulds have come together, so you'd want to get a mould line remover or a knife just to sort of clean that up. So he's got some scarring on his back. 
it could be from battle or it could be ceremonial scarring and all that sort of stuff stitching staples in it this one's got a bit of under flesh or muscle showing through which is nice they've got all these decorations of bone that they put into themselves so these are really awesome these would be good for snake bites or savage oryx if you wanted something a bit more original one of them has broken off but again this one's got well basically orcs don't really have nipples because they don't obviously need to feed in that way they feed in the fungus sack so obviously it's where the nipple sort of would go i guess you could call it a i guess you could call this a nipple piercing in a way and this is attached to its nipple or breast i guess or chest and it goes around obviously it's a chain again you can see that they're muscly have sort of the ribs poking through and the four pack nice little necklace around him a few more piercings he's got sort of some scarring but it looks again like it's more tribal scarring not necessarily from battle and then i'll show you the one that fell off some nipple piercings some more piercings some bone they're really nice so now we have the heads the savage orc heads which are really good i mean the bodies are good but there's very little clean up it looks like on the heads maybe a little bit of rough texture that needs to be cleaned but yeah really nice detailed really original sculpts i mean i'm a huge lover of orcs but these are really unique and cool and i like the g-dub savage oryx or orcs but they just don't quite have as much variation as these they're all kind of bland i guess you could say or just similar but anyway let's have a quick look so this fella's got some nice jaw almost some predator style it looks like he's got a bit of a cloth a bit of a cloth on him and he's got some teeth missing he's got some nice big chompers at the bottom has this little bandana almost or cloth that has a glyph on it this fella is awesome he's got some feathers obviously on him well he's got his own mouth and then he's got this skull or skeleton jaw piece under him you can even see the strap that's holding the feathers to him he's obviously got a few piercings in his eyebrow so good so much detail and so much detail and little extras on that this one's got one of those big african plates in his lip which is really cool yet again he's got these sort of tribal ritual type bones that have been put into his flesh as you can tell they've all got different expressions as well gotta love this fella as well with the wooden face plate really cool big big jaw big tusks or teeth he's amazing now the second one you get in the set is just doubles but obviously they're really unique so they can come in handy for quite a few projects maybe use them for warhammer and 40k so the last head in this set is the big mohawk one he's great looks like he's got a looks like he's got a bit of a goatee and this is just something that you cut away you've got the hairy goatee underneath he's got some really big hooped e earrings just like tribal people have and a nice big mohawk so these are known as juggernaut arms i've got the right and the left so we got a flamer and an open crusher well, i was hoping this was going to be a bit bigger because i was going to make a nasdrag and it's just on the smaller side a little bit too much but it's still going to come in handy for other projects so i was hoping it'd be a bit more 
Death Dread or the new Gaskell size. But it's a really nice piece. I believe they were about $10 Australian each for each arm. But there's a lot of detail in here. Really nice crisp sculpt and resin. As you can tell there's not much flash or anything there. Just clip art part or this part at the bottom. Even you can see the grid behind the fan, which is nice. Maybe a little bit of mould lines or whatnot here you can see, but so much detail and all these little bits and clips and scrap that build up that. Looks like some buttons and some wires, this fan. It's a really nice piece. Unfortunately, for the project I want, it just seems a little bit small, but that's no one's fault but me, by just assuming the size. Now we have the open claw, so this part I might even, this part I could even use as an engine or something, open top on a vehicle. Or, it's always nice to have bits though, just available when you're making a project. Yeah, a lot of detail. We have the open claw. Which is going to come in handy. This would be nice for a war boss. Some sort of boss knob or mech. Mega knob. As you can see, nice rivets and plate hand and scrap that's been put together. You've even got the damage and the little chips and whatnot. Minimal clean up. Nice solid resin. Next I'll jump back into torsos and show you the fatties, as they call them. I just thought this would be nice for some variation for knobs or boys. Or just some crazy little projects that I have in mind. So, you know, as you can tell, they're bigger, well-fed. They like their fungus ale and squeak burgers. So, you've got the open-shirted one with some dog tags. You've got the one with his tank top. And he's obviously a bit bigger, so it's pulled itself up. You've got the one with another tank top with his nipple hanging out. And yeah, they're really awesome and cool and unique. So I wanted to grab some of these to have in my kit or bits. This one has got a bit of stitching, like it's pulled it back together. Some nice creases. Very minimal clean up. You know, there's a little bit here, but that's where the body's going to meet the legs. So that's no issue really. Just saves you having to work on that part. As I say, not much clean up or any imperfections, really nice. And again, you get some doubles. So now we're going to match these together because they're orc pilot heads and torso. So I guess we'll start with the heads. Again, you get times two of these and times two of these. So you get doubles, just to keep in mind. So these are the all pilot heads, I just really thought these were good. I mean, you don't even really need to use them as pilots, but we'll see yet again where we use them. Just nice to have these bits. Anyway, he's got some goggles on the top of his head, a nice big jaw plate. He's got those pilot hats that they sort of had during war and whatnot. Well, they all have the pilot hats by the look of it. He looks like he's really getting into it. Kamikaze style. This one's got a bit of a cybernetic eye by the looks of it. Just to give him that extra aim and lock on to the targets. Love all the different expressions. Yet again, really clean, hardly any clean up is needed. Really crisp details. 
can almost use them straight away but there might be little clean up possibly on the sides here it looks like just where you can't quite see but yeah a little bit of flash as you can see here that's easy to clean up they've all got their goggles up yeah they're really nice and then you get six of these obviously doubles again but yeah these are very well this guy's very muscular these are a little bit chunkier but they have those nice big pilot coats on as you can see again minimal clean up he's got his dog tags something in his pocket by the looks of it he's got his coat open obviously this one has some some of his teeth around a zip pulled up this one is fully zipped up he's got his little he's got his little metal or glyph on him i mean these could even come in handy for bikers like a biker torso, a pilot torso, or even that punk sort of feel to it. You could make some interesting models with these. Really nice glyphs and designs on them. Yeah, so I love them. So these are gas mask orcs. Now they do now they do look quite human like. But they're going to come in nice for some burners or maybe some looters or something. But they're really cool. I thought just to have something different, grab some of these. So obviously they've all got different designs. A little bit of clean up on this guy and maybe some of the others. But again, as you can tell... It's not soft the details, it's quite sharp. Got a little bit of an orc symbol here. But yeah, they look really cool. A lot of Cromlech stuff has that World War sort of vibe to it. That old school feel to them. A bit Nazi or whatever you want to call it. But yeah. Again you get doubles again you get doubles of these so you get quite a so you get quite a nice amount for your money, you might ten Australian dollars, it'll be different in different countries. So you get quite quite a lot of bang for your buck really. Especially if you went halves with another orc friend and if you didn't want doubles you could split them. With helmets it's not too bad having doubles. I do like my miniatures or orcs to be a bit more to be a bit more individual and different. So the last bag that I've got will go through. Again, I've got some doubles as you do. So we got running legs. And orc naked torsos. So these ones have, as you can tell, a little bit more clean up. Nothing to get too upset about. Just need a hobby knife just to clean up and smooth out this stuff. But as you can tell, out of all of the stuff, these are the ones to have the most clean up. I guess with the bodies, it's you can kind of tell where the two moulds meet a little bit more and as you can tell just little bits of mould or whatnot that you have to clean up the good thing is it's on the shoulders where it's quite flat on the sides and obviously the arms will cover some but you still want to clean it up but it's not on the detail it's not on the chest or the back where the muscles are, so that's good. 
so that's good but anyway this guy has some teeth hanging off him these have that sort of tribal look to him as well or just you know terminator arnold schwarzenegger conan the barbarian sort of stuff flexing their muscles too good to put a shirt on or some armor anyway really nice clean crisp details yet again you can tell that they're all the same creature you can tell they're all a muscular orc but all slightly different sizes this guy seems a bit more slender and these this one's a bit more wide these in between yeah you've got a bullet necklace and some bones as well or teeth orc teeth i guess you know they have some some of the longer fangs and yeah so you get double so you get double of these again and then we have orc running legs so you get six of these which is nice so i just got rid of the doubles so i can show you the individual different designs but it's with these it's a little with these you can sort of have more than one in your army for people like me who want a bit more originality or individual different individual orcs looking different because having some running and in action poses will be really cool come up with some different creative ideas with them but anyway the sculpt These ones have a little bit more clean up in the creases. Also it might clean up a little bit more once you wash them. You have to wash resin to get rid of some of this. They aren't too bad because some resin you can sort of see how shiny they are with the release agent. As you can tell these have a little bit more clean up. Really cool design action pose looks like they're even in motion or maybe he's you know doing some rambo shooting right there this one definitely looks like he's in motion or moving walking or running So yeah, so there's a little, so there's a little bit of clean up, but yet again, nothing too serious. And obviously, if you're getting bits like this from companies, you're obviously going to be a bit more of an advanced modeler. So yeah, he's really nice. And the last fella, these would even be good for blood bowl if you wanted to grab some running legs, the blood bowl parts, put heads or. Even cromlech heads would be nice, but obviously put the blood bowl arms on with the running and catching of the ball. But yeah, these would look really cool in blood bowl, having that running pose. So yeah, he's definitely running away or into battle. That's up to you to work out. Really awesome sculpt. Yeah, that was my cromlech review. For price, they're really good. Even Australia is normally overpriced with stuff, and shipping can be quite a bit here, but it wasn't too bad at all. The price for what you get is really good. The details are there. There's a little bit of clean up on some, on on some of the others. It's really clean and smooth with with hardly any cleaning needed. But overall, I really rate and recommend Cromlick. They have, as I say, other marine factions, chaos factions, all that sort of stuff. I know they do some nice chaos space marine stuff. So yeah, if you're into those factions and you're just watching my channel to support or interested in my content, but you don't collect orcs, go and have a look at Cromlech. I'll leave the links in the description box. And yeah really pleased with what i got hopefully you enjoyed my review and opinions on these and maybe made you interested in getting some yourself so yeah as always i appreciate you watching 
and I'll catch you next time.